So now let's talk about another shadow problem. Uh, this is the exact same problem as the last problem, but in this problem, we're solving for how fast the tip of her shadow is changing, not the length. If you haven't seen my previous uh, video, there should be a link here somewhere. I'll just put it there. So, like the last problem, let's have a nice little diagram, shall we? I love diagrams. They're a great way to convey information. So, like before, we're going to have our 24 foot tall street lamp right here, illuminating everything. And we're going to have our 6 foot tall woman right here. Now, she's still walking away from it, so she's still moving this way. Get rid of that. But this time, because the tip of her shadow is changing, we're not going to be solving for dy of this. We're going to be solving for... Let's put x here. Let's just call this side length, this entire side length, y, right here. From here to here to here to here. This is y. Now, we know what dx over dt is. dx over dt is the same as last time. It's 4. And our y, our dy over dt, is what we're solving for. This entire thing, the rate of that. So, like before, let's set up a similar triangle ratio type thing. So 24 over, in this case, since in this case, we're just going to use y instead of x plus y, because this y is the entire side length, equals 6 over y minus x, right? Since this is the entire length, we want to just subtract this part to get this part here, so we do y minus x. Do you see the similar triangles? This is one side length, and this is the other side length of the big triangle, so this is what this is. This is one side length of the small triangle, and this is the side length of the other triangle. It's like a ratio of the sides, kind of, type of way. Now what we do is we cross multiply, so we get 24y minus 24x equals 6y. Then what we do is we divide by, or we subtract 24y, we get negative 24x equals negative 18xy. Now we can just make both sides positive by dividing by negative 1, right? So next what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 18 to isolate our y. So that's going to be 4 thirds x equals y. And then, since this is a related rates problem, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of it, right? Rates, derivatives, that's the way it works. So the derivative of 4 thirds x, four thirds x is just going to be 4 thirds. So it's going to be 4 thirds dx over dt. you got to remember this, though, because it's in, it's in um, respect to time. And this is going to be dy over dt. Now we just plug in what our dx over dt is, so that's 4. So our, our uh, rate of the tip of the shadow changing is going to be 4 times 4 over 3, which is just 16 over 3 feet per second. And that's how you figure out if the tip of her, how fast the tip of her shadow is changing, right? Notice that when it says tip, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be setting up a ratio type thing with subtraction. When it says length, so this entire thing, like in the last problem, you're going to be doing addition. So x plus y, or x plus y, and then simply y on this side. So you have to pay attention to what, it, what this word here in the problem is, because sometimes they like to change it around. There might be problems where they ask you for the tip and the length, and it's just nice to know how to do both of those.